Hello and thank you for stopping by. This is Moon Patrol for the Atari 2600, released by Atari in 1983. In this game you pilot a moon buggy, and your goal is to stay alive as long as possible, dodging incoming fire, jumping over craters in the ground, and shooting enemies along the way for points. This was an arcade game that was ported to more than 10 systems, and many of those ports seem to have better graphics than this version. There's a Commodore 64 version that looks pretty great, and an Atari 5200 version that looks pretty decent as well. I might try to track some of those down eventually. Now, although the 2600 version has no great graphic package to speak of, it does manage the basic gameplay for this particular title, and I think it's interesting enough. You start the game with four lives, and there are three difficulty levels you can choose from. As you would imagine, higher difficulty levels will give you tougher runs from the start. The lower level does increase in difficulty as you progress, so I guess it's up to you where you want to start. You're constantly driving and can direct your vehicle to move forward or lag back depending on what you need to avoid. The fire button on the controller fires your cannons, and you have two cannons. You have a forward-facing cannon and an upper cannon. When you press the trigger, they both fire at the same time. When you pull back on the controller, it not only pulls you back on screen, but it slows your vehicle down a bit as well. This is really important and useful when trying to time your jumps. Interesting enough, Moon Patrol at its core is a mix of two basic game types, and those two types are games we see on the Atari 2600 a lot. This is a side-scroller that also manages to be an upward shooter at the same time. As you drive across the surface of the moon, obstacles will appear in front of you, mostly boulders, tanks, and sometimes craters. Above you, various ships will appear, and they'll try to shoot you from overhead. Some of these ships will get out ahead of you too, and they'll drop explosives to the ground. In cases like this, they might actually create craters ahead of you, so you need to keep an eye out for these so you can jump over them. You may also see little flashing blips on the ground as well. Jump over these too. These are mines. Moon Patrol is an easy enough game to understand. You shoot or jump as appropriate, and it's nice to have a game that mixes a few different game types. You need to pay attention to a variety of different elements on screen at the same time, and work on getting your timing right for both shooting and dodging. The arcade version of Moon Patrol is often credited with being one of the first games to use parallax scrolling in a game. That's basically an effect they use in 2D games, where background images will move slower across the camera than images that are closer. It tends to give the scene the illusion of depth. I wish more of the games I've reviewed so far on this channel attempted to use this method. It may have really helped some of the games. I do like how the buggy is represented on screen. Now, I know the sprite is only one color, which is something I'm never a fan of, but here, it kind of does what the game Berserk does. It manages to offer some sort of movement out of a cleverly arranged one-color sprite. Here, the way the sprite moves, you can see the tracks cranking away below your vehicle as you progress. I think it's a pretty good idea to animate it that way. It really looks like it's crawling over the terrain. There's no real end to this particular game, it's just one of those titles that you hope to get into a groove with from time to time, and then you just run up the score. I've always considered this one a decent enough filler game. When I play Atari games, I generally don't sit and play with one game for hours on end, but I tend to rotate through a variety of games every 10 minutes or so. I think this one's good to have in a queue like that. Well, that's all I have for Moon Patrol for the Atari 2600. Thanks for stopping by to have a look, and I'll catch you next time.